Happy Friday, everyone. It's been a busy week at Katz and Phillips, and I am looking forward to a little bit of relaxation this weekend. And to help kick the weekend off on a good note, I do want to share with you what I consider to be a major victory for the Second Amendment coming out of New York City. That's right, you heard me correctly, a 2A victory coming out of the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. Now, two weeks ago, I did a video talking about a 2A victory coming from a California court concerning California's magazine ban. And since then, the same court also found that California's assault weapon ban was unconstitutional. And now it seems like New York is jumping on the bandwagon. So does this mean we are gonna start seeing states who historically infringed on their residents' right to bear arms start embracing the Second Amendment and actually following the US Supreme Court's precedent? Well, hmm, I don't know, but I'm not going to get my hopes up just yet. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment down below. So earlier this week, Judge John Cronin from the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York issued an order declaring New York City's good moral character or other good cause requirements for obtaining a permit to possess a firearm in one's home to be unconstitutional. So back in 2018, Plaintiff Joseph Soar applied to the New York City Police Department License Division for a rifle and shotgun permit so he could have one in his home. Then in 2019, he applied for a license to possess handguns in his home. That same year, he was given notice that both of his applications had been denied because a city official had determined that he lacked good moral character. This determination by the city official was based on his bad driving history, two prior arrests, although both of those cases ended up being dismissed, and for allegedly providing a false statement on his applications. He then filed a federal lawsuit based on the denial of both of his applications, and the order we're discussing today came from his motion for summary judgment, which sought, among other relief, a declaration of the unconstitutionality of the good moral character provisions and a permanent injunction preventing New York City and the New York City Police Department from enforcing these unconstitutional provisions. Judge Cronin began his analysis by applying the standards set forth by the United States Supreme Court in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin in deciding whether or not the law runs afoul of the Second Amendment. The court quickly and correctly determined that the regulations at issue are covered by the plain text of the Second Amendment and therefore the government then had the burden to show that the regulations are consistent with this nation's historical tradition of firearm regulations. Now, it's definitely clear from reading the order and some of the footnotes that Judge Cronin did not believe the government's attorneys took their burden very seriously. The court wrote in its order, defendants have failed to show that the broad discretion afforded to the licensing officials under subsection A2 and A9 of New York City Administrative Code section 10-303 is consistent with the history and tradition of firearm regulations in this country. Each of these provisions allows for a denial of a firearm permit upon a city official's determination of applicants' lack of good moral character or upon the official's finding of other good cause. Broad and unrestrained discretionary standards which defendants have not shown to have any historical underpinning in our country. And because that Unconstitutional exercise of discretion occurs every time a licensing official applies or has applied these provisions, they each are facially unconstitutional. Now, the judge did not go so far as to say that the city could not place some kind of restrictions or limitations on the possession of firearms. Instead, Judge Cronin wrote in his conclusion, this case is not about the ability of a state or municipality to impose appropriate and constitutionally valid regulations governing the issuance of firearm licenses and permits. The constitutional infirmities identified herein lie not in the city's decision to impose requirements for the possession of handguns, rifles, and shotguns. Rather, the provisions fail to pass constitutional muster because of the magnitude of discretion afforded to city officials in denying an individual their constitutional right to keep and bear arms. And because of the defendant's failure to show that such unabridged discretion has any grounding in our nation's historical tradition of firearm regulations. Of course, as one would guess, the government has not taken this loss lightly and they have filed an appeal. So the case is headed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. I will put a link to the order down below in the description section for anyone wanting to read the order. So 
I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the Firearm Firm channel if you have not already done so by clicking on that subscribe icon right there in the bottom right hand corner of this video. If you have any questions about this video or any other Second Amendment related question, be sure to leave them down in the comments section, or you can email us your questions directly at questions at thefirearmfirm.com. I hope everyone has a great weekend and get much needed relaxation. And until next time, stay armed and educated.